Hello, this is Nyx in a sandstorm. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems to always have a sandstorm here. Anyways, we are here in Kaskarafa, I think it's called, in order to battle the gym leader. At least we were going to. But then the gym leader came busting out of the gym here and took off across the desert. He also dropped his wallet and the gym staff person gave it to me to deliver to him, which I find incredibly irresponsible if my gym staff person gave the first child they saw my wallet and told them to deliver it. I would not have been happy with that gym staff person and probably would have fired them, so... Anyways, I don't think there was much money in the wallet anyway, so I guess we'll deliver it. The gym staffer did say that this would be my gym test, so I suppose if it gets me a battle with the gym leader, then I'll deliver his wallet. Alright, we've made it to Porto Marinada, whatever it's called, the port, and hopefully the gym leader's around here somewhere. Um, oh, that looks like the guy. Hello, sir. I have your wallet for you. Vault in Veluza. Where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. I'll get bought up. It'll get bought up by someone else. Huh. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So, do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? Uh, yeah, this is kind of important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Okay, I guess we'll have to battle this guy. I don't see this battle being too difficult. He's only level 28. And thankfully, Bite's not very effective against me. So we should be able to knock this out pretty quickly. There we go. That was easy. Alright, can we give his wallet back now? Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. Well, good news. I have the wallet. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty too. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Oh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to ya. What's that now? A customer here for little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for ya? I have your wallet. Vault and Meluza, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? Ha ha ha, that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. I hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Porto Marin Marinada, Marinada auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm. Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakami Seaweed from the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vault and Veluza. I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Kaskarafa Gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Um, okay. Haha, you already know the ins and out of auctions at such a young age. You're something else, kid. Here you are. Fight and funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Ooh, 50,000 Poké Dollars. Are we gonna be able to do this though? 
Make the winning bid. Alright, uh, Hoenn's Legendary Wakami Seaweed will start the bidding at 10,000 Poké Dollars. Uh, 15,000. I hear a bid for 15. Do I hear more? We're currently at 15. 20. 30. And we have 30. We're at 30. Do I hear more? 40. <laughs> I hear a bid for 40. Do I hear more? We're currently at 40. What a big spender. What in the world? Sold! Sold for po 40 poke dollars to the little lady over there. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Do I get to keep the rest of the money? That was amazing! You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now, if you don't mind. There you go. This seaweed's a great catch. I'll be feeling low as the seabed if I- I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to the Kaskarafa gym now. Old Man Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there! I didn't realize there was gonna be auctions. That sounds interesting. But for now, I'm interested in doing the gym battle. Alright, looks like we got some people here. Well now, Nyx! You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. Who are you? What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Uh, not that good. <laughs> ah, you can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika here, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little farcical, shall we say, but like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance, anyway. Naturally, she is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, ha ha ha. Yes, that, check us. that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go in. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right kiddo? See when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gyms what you've got. Alright, best of fortunes to you. Thank you, Rika and Hassel. Let's get into the gym battle then. Nix, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test pass. Yeah, well, you're lucky you still have a job, giving some child your boss's wallet. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Yes, I am. Alright, where's Kofu? There he is! <laughs> Old man Kofu, play with us! Come on! I'd be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry everybody, I've got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see. Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay! <laughs> Kofu seems pretty popular. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. I wouldn't ask for that. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics, ever-changing as the raging sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water-type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them, though. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Are we ready for this battle? Gym Leader Kofu. We have a Veluza. Ooh! I've seen one of those in the water before, and I really want one. 
I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on it just because of that. Baluza is kind of a scary looking Pokemon though when you're in the water with it. <laughs> Let's see if we can knock it out quickly though. Ooh, it, hang it hung in there. And of course it knows a grass or a flying type move. Let's see what Trailblazer does. Or Trailblaze. Alright, Dalov, let's take on this Wug Trio. Let's use a Mega Drain. Yeah, I figured we were gonna be slower than Wug Trio. But that'll give us our health back. Now, let's finish it off. Actually, let's use Mega Drain once again. Keep my health up a little bit and then save the big move for the next Pokemon. Alright, who's he gonna send out next? We have a Crabominable. Crabominable? Unfortunately, I think that's an ice type. We'll keep Dolov in though. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Crabominable. Hopefully. We can use a terrestrialized energy ball and knock this thing out in one go. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. You terrestrialize your Kabominable. Alright, let's see if we can knock this thing out in one hit. Come on, Dolive. Oh right, I forgot I was terrestrializing too. Alright, now that all the terrestrialization's over, can we attack? Ooh, Rock Smash. Hopefully, we can knock this guy out, because that's gonna hurt the next move. Alright, use your energy ball. Ah, easy peasy. Thankfully it didn't use the nice type move, because I'm pretty sure we probably would have lost our Dolive if he had done that. Good job, Dolive. Vault and Melusa, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. <laughs> And Florigato is evolving! I finally get to see what the final evolution of this Pokemon is. Hmm. Uh, Miascarda. Interesting. It's kind of like a floating grass thingy behind it. Huh. I do like it. This Pokemon uses the reflective fur lining its cape to camouflage the stem of its flower, creating the illusion that the flower is floating. Oh, it's camouflaged. The Magician Pokemon. That's really neat, actually. I like that. Ah ha ha ha. A loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good. I tell you, what a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. And let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. <laughs> Alright, Goku. Uh <laughs> oh, that is a good picture. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 40 will be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this into as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. Ooh. Alrighty, it's about time I headed on back to my restaurant and got to prepping for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Alright. Oh. Yeah, how'd I know? It was gonna be Nimona. Oh, Nyx. Hola! Caught you just as you finished up in here, huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. 
I can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Oh, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Nyx. Forgive me. Forgive me. Um, gym leader's this way, Nimona. <laughs> I guess she's, um gonna wait for me to leave before battling all right that was pretty exciting and I also forgot the in-between episodes I gathered enough coins to evolve my gimme ghoul we have this thing now that can actually keep up with you when you're running because he skateboards on a bunch of coins a very interesting Pokemon that's not what I expected gimme ghoul's evolution to be but anyways I think that's going to be it for this episode Next episode, I don't know what we're doing. Maybe a gym. Maybe Team Star. We'll see when we get there. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys!